really happy about this. This is like one of the things I've always wanted to do. Our adventures in El Salvador have surprised us at every turn. Not only is it beautiful, but we're getting deep into nature. This is like very rural El Salvador. Today we're taking you somewhere that you've probably never seen before in videos about El Salvador. But when you live in a van, sometimes you need the basics. Oh, you can smell it. Yeah. What happened? Life on the road has its ups and downs, but since we've been in El Salvador, things are totally F and A. Be sure to subscribe and let's get into today's vlog. Today we're starting off our day in a really, really magical way. We're gonna hit the beach. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what we're doing yet, but there's a hint right here on the wall. That's how big a turtle is? That's how big this turtle is. No. You can grow it at 2.7 meters. That's crazy. It's over six feet tall. I'm more of a little turtle. <laughs> First up, this turtle rescue operation gave us a breakdown of why it's so important to do this work. Paco was enthralled. We found the babies, and now we're going to learn how to release them. This is like one of the things I've always wanted to do. Uh, helping releasing turtles. The thing about it is that out of a thousand of them, only one's gonna make it to adulthood. So this is a big reason why this is a great thing to do and something that we could help. We could help the aspect of getting them into the water so that way the birds don't attack them here on the beach, which is good. But once they get in the water, there's nothing we could do. So hopefully they make it. Step one is to wash our hands with salt water so that any contaminants or bacteria is like, we are the ocean. The waves came in fast. Oh, it's so tight. It's so cute. Okay. Watch your chin. It's gonna be alright, buddy. They're ready to swim. Oh my god, so cute. I think my guy's tired already. My guy's tired too. <laughs> This is so beautiful. What a magical experience. I hope all of the ones that we release make it. They will. There are so many factors working against these turtles, including poachers who steal the eggs off the beach and also pollution and changing climate. That's why it's so important to give these turtles the best chance possible by releasing them ourselves. My goodness. So another group canceled, which you should never do because look at these turtles, they needed you, okay? To the people who canceled. So we're gonna do it for you, you're welcome. I just stay, stay. Paco, you see this? Look, you see? Is that friends? He doesn't He's like, I don't even care. <laughs> We're about 20 minutes down the coast and we are heading somewhere that does not feel official, but Salva is the tour guide that you need to get you to this spot. It's gonna be epic. It's very hot and sticky and hopefully the destination will cool us off. Can you guess what it is? Let us know in the comments. Oh, that feels so good. Get strong in the middle there. Yeah, woo! Does dumpling like the water? Yeah. Yeah? Bueno. Our first peek at the destination. We just had tropical storm slash hurricane Julia and what it did here was actually wash a lot of stuff from up top 
down so you could see like tons of cloth and clothes, be able to put together a group of people that could come here. We need at least like 20 people to come to be able to make a significant difference here with all the garbage that has showed up. Oh, I think right when we come around this corner, we're going to get a really nice look. Whoa. Oh, it's magnificent. We had an absolutely amazing time on that beautiful waterfall that we just went to. Does it have a name? Uh, San Antonio. San Antonio. But it's top secret and you'll only find it with Chunko Life. <laughs> uh, you come to El Salvador, it's super friendly, the food is great, the community is awesome. It's just a spot that I believe that I'll be back to for sure, 100%. What do you think, Paco? You coming Marquito up? was like, hey, I didn't... He's like, I didn't get my cameo! <laughs> wow! Oh, that's sick. Yo! What are the islands all that uh, we would be visiting? Cut. <laughs> <laughs> to be like to be able to do this in any language or in 40 different languages, I mean you could pretty much explore anywhere and be able to have a full conversation and a real conversation. It's one of the things that I've it's been really hard for me because I love to have conversations with people and in this aspect I actually get it where previous I wouldn't, you know? Yeah. It's and bad. I think it also allows you to learn the language too. It does. You know? There's an option to speak and then it speaks out on the speaker on your phone. So you can practice around the house and, and think incredible. of like, wait, how would you say this in this language? And you just say it and it repeats it to you. It's the raddest thing, honestly. Yeah. Like where was this 13 what years ago? What is it ago? called? Yeah. It's Time Kettle. It's the WT2 translating earbuds. Whew. So you can find them and, on Amazon. And I could tell you like, I don't really speak Spanish. Like, my Spanish is very... piquito. <laughs> <laughs> We now have new friends with us and we're going to the Bauhaus. So we'll introduce you to everybody while we're here at some point in time. But look at this place. It has beautiful artwork and the food looks amazing. Welcome to the Bauhaus. <laughs> we got some new friends. Why don't, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Nicole from Canada. We've been here in El Salvador. Hopefully here for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Carol. Hola! I was gonna introduce myself, but she did it already, so uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is Carol. <laughs> that expat no, I'm a better half. <laughs> I love that. I was gonna say, are you that expat dad? But you can't be the expat dad because you're local. That's a good exactly. Idea. Yeah. But it's too much editing. <laughs> 
I only got appetizers. We had to get the dumplings and the bao because it's the bao house. I mean, what else is there to order? Lots, actually, so you should come and check it out. What are you playing at the jam session? What's I'm your jam? I'm playing... Uh, I don't know, that's a good question. What's your karaoke song? I would say, um, have you ever seen... Have you ever... What's the name, what's the name of the song that it's like, have you ever seen... Yeah, sing it. Cool. Sing it. Sing it. No, you you want to lose subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> it would be uh, salt and salt and pepper here, and we're in a back. Want you to push it good. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I am already loving her. She's so amazing. I like her. <laughs> you too. Tan natural. <laughs> Oh, you can smell it. Yeah. What happened? Moisture must have gotten into it somehow. How? Got water on it on accident at some point in time. Before we started up. I mean, I didn't, do, I didn't get any water on it. You it's been sitting in the bag. Yeah. Definitely not what you want to wake up to is a computer that starts smoking when you turn it on. Cool. So we'll know really soon whether we have good or bad news. We'll, we'll be able to tell you by tomorrow. Yeah, I hope it's not anything big. They're saying maybe they can fix it with just an update, but we'll see. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say that it's been extremely helpful having Salva with us to be able to translate everything because if it was just Alex and I, that would have been a shit show. And now it's time for us to go and help some other friends. Uh, we gotta go get some brake pads because they can't find them in town. Did you find it? Yeah, we found it. We got the brakes. We're paying right now. We got it all settled up for Matt and James. Let's see uh, how they uh, how they hook us up now. You know, <laughs> it's not about that. So thank you. So here's our friends and we needed to hook them up with some brakes because they could not find them here. <laughs> Saved our life. Look thank at them, make sure they're good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let's oh. just hope these fit now. Right. Yeah. This huge expedition to go get it. So and I just when you were saying you need sun. four pads, yeah. Whenever you get a set of pads, it's always two and two. Show us how much I know. Right side, left side of each wheel. Oh my god, yeah. this is perfect. Is yeah, no. so it's a, a total of, of four, two and two. Thank you so much. Yeah. And how much was it? 30, 40 32. Well, so it was 32, but then we were calculating a delivery, like, fee. delivery fee. And then like we had to pick up lunch on the way, we also have so that was like a little expensive. We also have a translator fee as well. Right, and then of course, you know, a propina, because you know, yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we owe you guys a drink for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <sighs> so Frank is inside finding out the fate of our computer, and I'm out here making lunch. We are on a mission to try to cook inside the van a little bit more, save a little bit more money. We kind of like blew our wad in Tunco on eating out at all the amazing restaurants. So trying to eat up all the stuff that we got at the farmer's market with Salva the other day, and it looks pretty good to be honest. Eat we got it guys the bad news is it's the motherboard he said it's pretty significantly damaged he did take out the hard drive and we put it in this little guy which makes it a solid state hard drive and we can now put it into our other computer and uh, be able to get all the information that we had on that computer which is great it wasn't from water damage it wasn't from any like it looks super clean in there he said what it could be from is the power that they have here might have fluctuated like where a power outage happened and if it was plugged in during a power outage mm. it could have caused like a magnetic thing to happen and that could have been what made it go bad 
So I said, and normally we plug it in our house, which is separate from the grid. You know, it's like we have our own battery bank and whatnot. But yeah, could be something as simple as that that caused it to go bad. We're gonna be one computer down for the next like three months. Yeah, which makes our life a lot more difficult. Yeah. We'll manage though. Yep. We just gotta be more efficient, more teamwork, more just getting stuff done. So. Hit it. Lunch, you mean? Well, no, I meant like hit. It. Oh, boom. Yeah, that's, the, that's the teamwork I was looking for. A huge thank you to all of our Patreons for being the most awesome team members ever. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the shower.